Hey there! Usually you can grab the latest Git release from the official website and install it on Windows the traditional way. But in this video, I'll show you how to update Git for Windows directly from the command line, quick and hassle free. Before we get started, I would like to thank everyone who supports this channel, especially the 2.39k subscribers. Your support helps me continue creating clear and concise tutorials. Now let's get back to the command line and see how to update Git for Windows. First, let's check which Git version we are currently running. Just type Git version. And now ideally we would like to check what the latest Git version is. And unfortunately Git doesn't have a built-in command for that. But we can use curl to check the latest release directly from GitHub. So let's run curl s https forward slash api.github.com slash repos slash git for windows slash git slash releases slash latest and then let's do a grip and check the tag name. And as you can see, the latest tag name for it for Windows is 2.51.1. If you plan to use this command again in the future, it's a good idea to create an alias to save time. All right, now let's move on to updating Git itself. Depending on your current version, the command differs slightly. If your Git version is between 2.14.2 and 2.14.2, 16.1, then you have to run git update. But if you are on 2.16.1 and newer, you must use git update git for Windows command. Or if you want to just YOLO swag it, just run git update and Git will give you a warning showing the new version available and also asking you if you want to install it. But be careful because in the future this warning will most likely disappear. So I recommend using the correct update command, which in my case is, let's check it once again. I have the version 2.48.1, so I'm going to run git update git for Windows. Press yes. Let's restart the terminal and check the git version once again. And we have the latest git for Windows. All right, that's it. Now we know how to check which Git version you are running and how to update to the latest version for Windows. Don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.